St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. To church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray. 
to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Take no offense, vicar. I seek just a moment in nothing but my own company. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've made myself perfectly clear this is a private matter. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled. By the loss of this girl, what happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell.
You're doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me. Chose me. As shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. The hospital is chaotic as it is. No one will notice a few more bodies. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. 
It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The Guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Is there anything you can tell me? Many things can happen under cover of night, Doctor Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see... I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. Do you require... My condition cannot... I will come and check... I'll leave you. I wish I could be sick again. I feel my blood boil with the fever. Good evening, Mr. Evening, Do How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. So do you let her bite you? And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patience. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed? In her madness, she never refers to my scars. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. Tell me what really... I went with a whore. Did you start the fire? No. Soldier. I'm fine. Goodbye for... I wish I could have again. The pain of the fever is near again. What on earth happened here? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent event? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. 
Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting stopped. Do you require me? I will be fine. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, nurse. Good evening, Doc. And good evening to you, Doc. Do you need me? I would have been confused. I will see. Goodbye, Dr. Strip. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scalp. Would you care to partake in this meal with me? Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Have you embraced this woman? like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield. Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us, rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you.